Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Uncut Takes Podcast. It's been a while. It's been another, we did another week break. Accidentally. Uh, accidentally, <laughs> yeah. Um, my work schedule is completely skewed because I was like, I was out on a, a minor injury and like I, I woke up today and like I texted someone. I said, oh, like how's work doing? And I'm like, fuck you talking about Sunday. I thought today was Tuesday. No, Tuesday. My, my work week, my week in my head is so fucked right now. Clearly. Um, but episode 20. This is the 20th? This is the 20th yeah, this is episode. The 20th. Oh, okay. We made it. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. yeah the, um, last weekend we celebrated Memorial Day and uh, we, we, all, did. we all arrived at our point of gathering and uh, Walter just turned to me and was like, so I guess we're not doing a podcast this week, huh? Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, we were so. away. No one, no one thought about that at all. Yeah. You know what would have been epic if we packed up all this shit and brought it down the shore? That would have been such a bitch to put together and clean up. <laughs> I know. You'd have drunk people tripping on wires and shit. Well, yeah, we would have had to throw it all in, in the ocean when we were done. Oh, yeah. yeah. 100%. Yeah. With the SD card, the whole podcast. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it would be unusable. It would just be scuffed bits and like It'd people be- rambling. It'd be a rough one. Yeah, this is, this is a good reason we didn't do it last week, and today's yeah. the redemption. Yeah. Which is recycled ideas that we have. Yeah, so uh, the other day I was at work, and uh, I got a text from Wayne, and it said, hey, uh, you do me a favor, and... <laughs> we have to go kill a homeless guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, I said, "What? what is it? And he said, can you come to my... Wo- can you go to Wawa, get me dinner, and bring it to my work, because coworker called out, and he had to do like a 16-hour shift yeah. or something like that had overnight. had to work for 16 hours. 16 hours! <laughs> Spent 16 hours in the bloody mines. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, and uh, I went to Wawa and I got him his food. And in in me waiting for my food or for Wayne's food, um, they were pretty busy at that Wawa. And I saw like when I checked out because I checked out before I walked up to get the sandwich. Yeah. Um, and I saw like the general manager portrait behind the counter. Yeah. And it's like this super happy white dude. <laughs> And then I realized that he's the one making the hoagie, and he is not happy. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just looks like he's completely defeat. Um, just how much does Wawa general manager pay? I feel like you, there's potential for like a good, de- not a great living, but a decent living. I feel like it varies on where you are, right? But like, think about it. I mean, if you could get like twenty seven dollars an hour doing that, oh yeah, there's yeah. a good chance. There's a good I, chance. I I I knew. I work with a guy now who who picked up a part time job at Wawa for yeah. a little while, and he he they they were saying they were going to make him a supervisor, <laughs> and he makes like a little over twenty an hour. I know now, and he didn't take the supervisor. They they didn't make him. Oh, okay, but but if if they did, he would have quit his other job and been a full time supervisor. So the supervisors wow. make at least more than twenty an hour. Right. Wow. So, okay, that's pretty surprising. So the manager, I would hope, is making at least twenty five an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm just glad because Wayne texted me first before he texted you. Yeah, yeah. He's asking, "Yo, can I play games on my laptop?" Blah 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 blah. Yeah, I, I said like, about yeah. the laptop. I, st- I started, he like started all this shit. I started with different with Nick. I, I started with you. I just went straight we'll, to the food. We'll get we'll get there because that's the end of the story. Because I I know is that you were you were close to me, but with him I started I started different. I said, "Hey, can this laptop that I bought off you could it run video games?" And he was like, "Yeah, I guess." And it's got a Bluetooth thing. You can hook up an Xbox controller too. And I was like, "Yo, that's fucking epic." He's like, "Awesome. I'll just do that for my shift." And then he yeah. texts me like an hour later. He's like, "So can you bring it to me?" It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, "No." Well, like I'm waiting for your sandwich and there's this lady and he's like, "She's really just heckling the guy about making her sandwich quicker." Yeah. And and because it goes with the story, she was an African American woman. Um, and the general manager did a poor choice of words, and he said, "Oh man," he said, "I'm trying to think of." <laughs> Kevin gets canceled <laughs> live on he, the air. The general manager manager said, "Like I can't take it with you people." Oh, like no. He, and in that sense, he was also talking to other customers. Yeah, he, he meant you people, that, right. customers, like, not you people, customers. Yeah. And that was the yeah, obviously the the worst choice. Like choice of words he could have possibly used, um, and then she blew up on him. Oh and no! Then she did the "I want to speak to your manager," and then he just pointed at the picture <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, and then she said, "Well, I'm going to call corporate," and he just said, "Do it, do it. You want my phone? <laughs> do, do it." it. Jesus. Um, and then I get Wayne's sandwich, and then uh, I also pick him a pack of Cheyennes because he wanted Cheyennes and he wanted a lighter, and I got him one of those big lighters, but like where the neck is long, so it's like a it's like a short penis like barbecue lighter. Okay, yeah, like, you, you know you what I'm talking, talking about? about? No, it's it's a regular big lighter. Like the, it's got you know the got long like barbecue little, ones. Yeah, 
okay, it's that, but it's like only like two or three inches long. Oh, okay. but it's still a regular Bic lighter, That's just with like the neck on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, I got him that one. It was a uh, hot pink or yep, purple, nice. one of the two. Magenta. Um, but yeah, I drove him, drove it to his work. Wayne's like, "How'd you get here?" And I was like, "I came from that way." And apparently, I drove through like the most ghetto, most dangerous part of where he works. Yeah, <laughs> like where there's like. <laughs> people actively shooting at each other sometimes yeah, I, like it was like that scene from um war dogs when they're like when the guys are transporting the weapons and, and he's like you drove through the triangle of death and he's like i don't know i just yeah. drove through the desert yeah that's the triangle of death yeah well you, you showed up and like you like i got my shit i was like thanks man it was like a little little moment of silence and kevin just goes this place is a shithole <laughs> <laughs> and uh i was like which way did you come from and and he just points like yeah i yeah s- south of where i work uh-huh. and i was like god dude that's the worst that's, the, <laughs> that's literally the fucking worst don't go home that way yeah but, uh, a good time but then i saying. but then i got home after i took the highway home and uh i got on uh xbox and got on discord and nick was in there and i said yeah i just got done uh Wayne just called me and asked me to take food to his work. And or I said Wayne called me and Nick just said, Did he ask you to bring him his computer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then he told me the story firsthand moments after it happened. Yeah. Wow, beautiful. But yeah. So uh So you had a great time and Wayne got to work twelve hours, which was also 16, very epic. Sixteen, 16, 16 hours. Were you gonna cry about it? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna cry about it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh but we're not gonna have this turn to the guys with bitch about work podcast. Uh instead we're gonna share Well, I'm sure that uh uh No, nah, no, nah, this is this, this isn't a work related one. The, the we're gonna share some crazy crackhead experiences. Yeah, I ver- I really don't have experiences. Damn, with bro, this. you need to get more cult- cultured. <laughs> yeah, and to go hang around the worst places. Yeah, Wayne working in in the most ghetto part of our state, and uh, <laughs> me, I used to work close to Philly. Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, I, uh, I don't really experience this stuff often, if at all. The the way that that Kevin said he came from, that, yeah. like like you like you you know, and I, I told you Kevin that yeah. like like I can like turn left out of the parking lot at work and drive in a straight line, they'll take me home. Yeah, yeah, I can do that, mm-hmm. but it takes me through like the worst part of the worst city. Yeah. <laughs> In yeah. in like the like top in, it's in the top five worst cities of the fucking state yeah. and the, and uh, but but I I'm like I could do it so I did one night I did and uh, I I I, th- I told I know I told you guys before that I'm like at the last fucking light the very last light before it gets like industrial and like the, mm-hmm. like devoid of people entirely yeah. mm-hmm. and there's this this old lady sitting on the oh, yeah. on the yeah. corner and she just kind of waves to me and I just kind of like wave back <laughs> why would you even look at her cuz i'm nice i don't know the because <laughs> i'm nice yeah, yeah okay. I'm, a, I'm a nice guy whatever yeah, and, uh, okay. and then she walks over to the window and taps on the glass and uh i roll down the window like like 2 centimeters yeah and she goes hey handsome can i get a ride <laughs> i'm like uh yeah no <laughs> I'll suck your dick for one, <laughs> and uh, I just went. Uh, no, man, I'm uh, good. Uh, and then she, and then she just started like going down the line. Uh, you got, you got, uh, you got a cigarette, you got a dollar, you got any change, you got Jeez, any drugs? Man. I was just like, nope, 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 none of that. And then just without a word, she just turned around and walked back to the corner she was standing on. <laughs> And the were there changed. any other like cars? No, there was no one. They around. were like the only one. No, she wasn't gonna run the line. She was just gonna like yeah, it was just, just me. Do you have like, a sign that says "Free blow free job, sucks job for yeah, a ride"? We'll suck for a ride. <laughs> That's what I, I told someone about that experience. Who was a little more like uh, like fr- like familiar with the area. Yeah. And uh, we're like, oh, dude, you 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 encounter yeah, Nancy. It was like, no, that silly no, son yeah, of a yeah, bitch. Went, we all you, know you her. missed out on a good one. No, the the. He he was like I said something about like like wh- like where the like where on earth could she possibly be going like where I'm going the same way and he yeah. and he he goes well you know she probably was like she doesn't want to ride she she just was going in to suck dick and see how much money you have yeah and I was like oh I guess that does make a little more sense yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I had some uh, lady come into the shop one day and she was holding a baby like this. Like yeah. over her shoulder. Yeah, like the way you hold a baby. Yeah, like and it was wrapped up in a blanket, yeah. and her teeth were like sticking like out on an angle, like oh, a horse, no. and they were like kind of like angled. Ew. Yeah, and they were just black, mm. and that's she, disgusting. She, she looked like one of those average super British person. stereotypical political cartoons of an average British person. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she was kind of just mumbling to herself and wasn't saying anything in any language. Um, and then eventually I heard her say something about giving vitamins to her baby. And I said, you know, like, I don't feel comfortable selling you any of our product if you plan on giving it to a baby. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and yeah. so, woman, you walked into a smoke shop, <laughs> and then she kept <laughs> wandering around. Baby. She kept wandering around the tip jar, and I like was standing behind the tip jar, like right up against it, like just waiting. <laughs> and then eventually, she like went to switch arms and switch the baby to the other side. And that's when I realized that it wasn't a baby. <laughs> oh, no. And that it was a rock wrapped in a blanket. <laughs> and then that makes me wonder, was there a baby and she picked up a rock? <laughs> or was there never a baby? It was a genuine mistake. Or did her pet rock turn into pet ba- pet or baby rock? I don't know. <laughs> did her pet baby yeah, turn her pet into baby. a rock? <laughs> But yeah, they're, they're probably. Yeah, but then like, again, she, I know, hope there wasn't. I a just baby imagine dude. a crackhead just going like, "This rock is crying. Well, it's it like, needs a mother." The dude I used to work with, Lee, would always talk about how he'd go into Philly with his friends, and then like late at night, you'd see like the tweakers would be like <laughs> sleeping, standing up. Yeah, yeah. And then he would do tweaker tipping. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that's fucking evil, dude. Dude, that's, <laughs> there's like a Cars movie like <laughs> meme to be made about this. <laughs> He was talking about how, like, the first time he ever saw, like, one sleeping standing up, he was, like, bent over like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he, he thought that he was, like, looking underneath a car at first. <laughs> <laughs> like, he dropped something. Yeah. But then he realized that he was just sleeping. <laughs> yeah, dude. They can lean. They can They're lean pretty good. <laughs> they can, dude, you're, you're telling me, man. You're telling... I, I told Nick this one. Just on Friday, I was, I was sitting at work... Uh, I, like I sit by myself in a locked building pretty much on Fridays and uh, I see a, like a, there's two entrances to the building one on my left in front of me and I see on the left the guy walks past the doors and he's eating a freeze pop barely alive like he's just like <laughs> shuffling it wrong eating his freeze pop yeah. and I, he rounds the corner and I see him on the like the security camera fucking walk and like it doesn't register in my head that he's walking like from one set of doors over to the other set of doors until I, I see him on the camera bust his, his mouth into the door handle when he hits the door well, handle like he fell? yeah yeah, it bangs. Boom. And I'm like, oh, this guy's right in front of me. I look up. I sit at a desk with a computer right in front of me. And I, I look up over the computer and I'm like, oh, that guy is just uh, about to uh, perish due to drugs right in front of me. But the, but he just busted his lip on the door handle and it, like, it snapped him out of it a little bit. And it, like, he got like a little second wind, got a little bit of momentum. And he went away, away. He stumbled away from the door, stumbled towards the street, realized he was there. And then he, he recovered, started stumbling the other way. Back towards and he went, the like, ba- back, back towards the front of the building, but he's away from the doors now. And he Boom! Smashed his forehead into a brick wall. He smashed his head so fucking hard into this brick wall that I heard it from inside the building. <laughs> Dude, and uh, so fun. All, all in the area I work, like there is, they put out those like those junior police officers, like the like eighteen, nineteen oh. year old kids that just stand on the corner and do nothing. Yeah, yeah. Like they don't have like a gun or anything, or oh, they just. I was gonna say the trigger happy teenagers. No, the, li- literally not, like not even that. Like it's literally just kids. <laughs> they give police uniforms to, and then oh, I'm sure that's and, like a reflective smart. vest. Yeah, anyone great. wants to kill a cop, the guy. Yeah, can't the, 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 <laughs> nah, every, everyone that seasoned veterans of, of the area know that those guys are fucking useless. I said that was for the first time ever. I see one of these kids come over and like start like telling the guy like, "Oh, you got to get out of here. You 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 get better Damn. get out of here." But he's he's sending them the wrong way. He's sending them like still on onto the campus on my property where I'm at. <laughs> and the and so I ran out and I screamed at both of them and like I, I just went. Dang! And the, 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 they both looked over and uh, they're like, "Huh, what?" And I, I just walked right past the kid and I was like, "You get, you know, to the crackhead. Get, you gotta go that way. You gotta go that way. That way. That way." Like you're dealing with a barrier point, making yourself yeah, bigger. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> make yourself big and, and, and get rid of him. And the the uh, I looked like after he started shuffling along, I'm like, I'm like, uh, yeah, we we try to get him like out of here. We, you know, it's their problem over there. But, and he he like we're both just kind of standing there watching this guy shuffle into the street. And, uh, <laughs> and he gets the, nailed the, by the, an eighteen the, the, the guy, the guy, literally, he's just like well he's the transportation center's problem now that's where he was going towards <laughs> damn that's rough that's awful yeah. <laughs> i remember lee saying he's like he would because lee used to do like hvac and he's like in the basement of some guy's building working and like the building management dude came in while they're working and he just walked down the stairs walked into the middle of the room squatted on the floor just shit on the floor Jesus. and then walked out and then lee was saying that he just looked at his coworker and went the fuck was that and he goes i guess that's where he shits <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs>
<laughs> That's terrible. I saw I saw just the other day one of those like Reddit posts where it was like, "What's what's a secret that you will carry to your?" And this this guy writes, "It's related." And this okay. this guy writes, he goes, "What? Y- Fifteen years ago, my wife came home drunk for the you know a- as she always did, belligerently. As she dr- always did. yes, as she always did, oh, be- okay. belligerently drunk, crying, sobbing, screaming, vomiting, a, a, a very just a Classy. mess. And, 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 and she always did it, and I, I I it had taken its toll on me. So after I got her tucked into bed which was a chore i went out to the driveway by her car and took a shit in the driveway the next morning when she got up i blamed it on her and told her that the neighbors saw and she made a fool out of herself she's been sober for 15 years (laughs) (laughs) could you fucking imagine dude i hope that's true why the i would sooner crash the car and blame it on her before i took a shit in the driveway i don't know i don't know I don't know. One you don't have to pay for. I guess. Dude. I just feel like like that, like to take a shit in the driveway, it wouldn't enter my mind. It would now. Oh, but the, yeah, no. But I like, would never that, think that of that. Would that. Not be, I'd that's be like, amazing. Even, like, first of all, that's, that's some wit. To have an evil thought to, hmm, time to frame my spouse and make them seem like even more of an alcoholic than they already are. <laughs> that for that thought to enter your head and then for the answer to be... I'll take a shit in the driveway and blame it on them. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> to be fair, Christ. though, that guy clearly did something right. I guess. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, That's amazing. amazing. <laughs> hey, you owe me a beer. <laughs> what are we drinking? An extra thick yingling. I'm drinking black yingling, tan. black and tan, porter and premium beer. It's okay. Wayne says it's not a porter. No, it, or it's, it's a porter, but not really. My and then you first... taste it and you go... That's, That's a porter. porter. <laughs> My first experience with it, it, it tastes different in the can, man. And we're drinking from a bottle right now. It's not, I'd say it's probably the best tasting porter I've ever had. It's oh, just I, a porter. Mm, yeah. I would say that as it's well. It's not oppressive. Like the oh, Yingling yeah. Hershey porter, pretty good. But if yeah. I can only have oh, one yeah, mm-hmm. before I just want to like actually. Oh, definitely. Do. <laughs> Whenever I see that, I'll buy a six pack. And then bring it here and have one of them and then like one else finish the rest. Stick the insulin right into my gut as I'm drinking it. Yeah, well, it's <laughs> not like it's got. It's not like it has like much more sugar than a regular thing. Like it's it doesn't taste sugary sweet. Really? No, it doesn't. Like like Walter I think it tastes had like, it. I think it tastes like Walter drank it. It was somehow. It was like 30 degrees outside, and yeah, it was you somehow told me that. he took it out of his car, and it was somehow the bottle was warmer than it was outside. Like it was in his trunk, so there's no way like the air, the heater effect. So I yeah, he drank it warmer than room temp, and he went, "This tastes like shit." Yeah, <laughs> like no shit. Well, no, it's because he probably thought it was gonna. Well, that doesn't help. But it's like I'm 50 sure, degrees, and you're drinking it. I'm sure he thought it was gonna taste like a fucking Hershey bar. Cause that's what all normies oh, think yeah. about about like a flavored beer or whatever. Well, I mean, also like Walt can't drink any alcohol. That's what I'm saying. Fireball. He can't, well, he can't drink beer at all. He's not like he'll drink hard beer. But uh, so, uh, how about those old TV? <laughs> What a, what a segue. I was going to say, you know, talking about the crashing of the car. What if the car has plate covers on it? <laughs> How about you two? Which one you was, well, I, I, did, I, never, I didn't submit either of these talking points. So the, Dude, the, did I? I don't remember these. I think I, you did the, the fucking, the, the license plate I covers. I did the old TV commercials, I think. Okay. Man, I'm trying I to remember. What about it? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> you I like watched some video on YouTube and it was like, you wake up. And it's like 2 a.m. and the TV's still on, and it's the paid program commercials in 2001 or something like that. Oh man! <laughs> so it's like I'm, it's like the commercials for a uh, uh, Pet Pals or whatever. What's that one where it's like a oh Zoo Pals? Zoo Pals. The plates. This is not the, the plates, first time yeah. this has come up on the on this podcast. I think <laughs> you're it? right. I think is we it have not? talked about yeah, Zoo we Pals. Have. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, no, holy shit. That, and uh, I mean, more recent than Webkins. that. Do they have commercials? I don't even remember. Or they probably so. did. How else would you have heard of them Yeah, Webkins were the ones, like like Sean had the, the Google. Yeah, the Google. <laughs> yeah, the, the, Google. the Google event. <laughs> Just <laughs> colorized. A double amputee platypus. That's all it was. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I didn't realize it was a platypus until semi-recently. I yeah, thought it was a it goose. Just had two feet. I thought it, it was just a arms. goose. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks like that too, but. It looks more like a goose. Than it does a platter. Dude, I'm trying to think of like other like really iconic old commercials. I mean, the one that sticks out. It's not nearly as old, but the the one Kia dealership near us it was just the guy saying, oh "That's God. crazy." Until like a what 480p about, flip cam. What about the one where it's like a it was like a big helium filled balloon, but it had a fish tail and it would swim through your house. 
Oh my! Oh, those yeah. things! What Jeez. the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, they were on like Nickelodeon commercials yeah. all the time. It was like a balloon that was like a blimp, and you had a remote control, and it was just like yeah, it was like fifty dollars, but it was just like a shitty balloon with uh, a tiny motor on it. Yeah, yeah, I've completely forgot about that. Yeah, no. I would have never thought of that for the rest of my life had what, you not brought it up. What, slip and slide commercials? They don't do those slides. anymore. What do you think is the most? Too many head injuries. <laughs> Is the most like the commercial that generates the most genuine emotional connection to the product without it being like something that's intentionally like a tearjerker, like an ASPCA commercial. Mm. I, I have a submission for that. I right, do that while I it's think it's Chef the Chef Boy RD commercials where the can would follow the kid home. Oh yeah, and the kid's like happy to see it. And that everything. hits hard as a motherfucker, dude. It brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I haven't had some Chef Boyardee beefaroni in such a hot minute. What's so fucking funny over there? <laughs> Dude, I, I actually I actually had that last night. The you ate beefaroni, beefaroni, beefaroni. Yeah, I was stoned laughing. out of my mind, and I ate it out of the can in my bed. <laughs> Ew. You're disgusting. That's awful, dude. I'm never going to sit on your bed for the rest of my life. Have you? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Unless you kids are fucking and we don't know about it. <laughs> Ooh, epic little synchronized sip. Yeah. Uh, me and Kevin are just together today. Yeah. We both said the same thing in two different synchronized sipping. Yeah, the old synchronized sip. <laughs> what else so, we got? Weird hand sanitizers or license plate? What do you want? You're the license plate guy, man. Well, I you have the license plate I expect plate you to, 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 if you write some shit I down, did. to carry it, it through. It was like two weeks ago. I don't know. Right, well, anyway, it was right more than two weeks weird, ago. Weird hand sanitizer. We have a hand sanitizer at work where it's lotion infused hand sanitizer. So I feel like they cancel each other out. So it has the alcohol in it, but then when it dries up, it leaves like an oily film on your hands. That's disgusting. That sounds terrible. Yeah. And we also have the same thing except it's lotion infused soap so what? it like coats your hands in oil for this for the lotion side and then when you're rinsing it off you it can't feels get it off. like you can't get it off that's disgusting like i i take they off my jewelry when i wash my hands the, the yeah. dude the fucking any like in a, in a post-covid world anywhere i go that doesn't have like fucking totally normal regular hand sanitizer i don't fucking use it even in yeah. a mid-covid world if it was anything other than totally normal regular hand sanitizer, if it was with aloe or with this or with that or it was a fucking weird color i didn't touch it dude because it, it'll leave fucking shit on your hands yeah. yeah i'd rather get fucking covid and die than have that shit on my fucking hands <laughs> If I get COVID and die, at least it'll kill me all at once. That shit will kill me so that's a why little I bit the, every day. I just use the isopropyl alcohol. Yeah, the fucking... The fucking... <laughs> That fucking the shit. Fucking, the, the, the fucking, the, the fucking shit that, shit that I, I was trying to not say that. That shit that <laughs> yeah. you were fucking gassing us out with in the car. You would put some on your hands, then close all the windows, and it would just like we no, know. I, would, no, I, would, I would put it on my hands alcohol. as I was driving, so the wind would blow it into the back seat. Yeah, yeah disgusting. Just a little spray bottle of pure rubbing alcohol, like a goddamn lunatic. Hey man, it's if awful. I get thirsty, I can get take a sip. Dude, where I work, the, the hand sanitizer. I feel like my hands are dirtier after I put it than like it, before. There's one where it's like you put it on and depending on how much you put it on like if you could then wash your hands later on you have like weird gel like on your hands <laughs> it's bizarre yeah you that, ain't that, using hand sanitizer that's the, that's the disgusting <laughs> shit <laughs> Pumping a load out in my palm and then r- rubbing my hands together. Pumping a load out I, in the dispenser. Uh, I told you that the, the one time I was at work and a, a guy like pulled me to the side and went, "Hey Wayne, use this hand sanitizer. Use this hand sanitizer right here." And I, I just said, "Like, f- I'm not gonna do that." Oh, the, yeah, the, yeah. the way you're roping me into this, dude, that I'm just simply that's not going to occur. Yeah. And, and he was like, "Yeah, it's not hand sanitizer." <laughs> Someone just put soap into this hand sanitizer thing. Like it was just like it was like by the front door to a building, like not anywhere remotely near a bathroom yeah. and when you hit it it just put hand soap on your fucking hands <laughs> that's you couldn't awful. get it off yeah, that so is awful some moron and fucking mixed it up mixed up the bags that go into the things <laughs> they probably the... had to try to put it in too probably like they probably are not direct swaps yeah <laughs> run up to the lawn and just what rub your hands on the grass yeah i guess that's what you have to do <laughs> Soup on a dolly. Doily. That says doily. doily? Oh, I'm, I, I'm sure when I wrote that, I had more to say, but I went to it. It was on Mother's Day. Um, I went with my my pa- mother. My right, for us unintelligent intelligent people. What is a doily? It's like <laughs> those little like white cloth circle things that grandmas use as like coasters, oh, kind of. Oh, you know okay. what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put it like between the, the saucer and the teacup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. It was like so we were at like where my grandparents live. Is like it's not like a home, but it's, it's you put them into a. <laughs> it's a retirement <laughs> community. It's, like a retirement, like it's literally a retirement community. <laughs> okay, but they live it's in one building. Tony Soprano. <laughs> it's actually bigger than one building, but. 
It's a complex. We are at one of them and it got soup Compound. and the soup came on a doily with no plate. It was just so fucking weird. I'd never seen anything well, like, like that. In a bowl on a doily? Yeah, it was just, and there's no, pl- normally it's like teacup doily plate. This was soup doily table. I've never seen that before. It was just so weird that I had to make a comment yeah, about it. Yeah, I guess it. that the, the bowl doesn't slip around. If anything, make the bowl the fucking plate. more slippery. Oh, on the plate. I don't know. It's just for aesthetics. It's old woman stuff. Yeah, yeah. I know nothing about it. <laughs> That's the only thing I have to say about it. I don't know much more. Yeah, dude, the old old folks homes like are like there's like never any old dudes there because we die earlier <laughs> when when my granddad went into a home he was like what's the deal with this fucking place it's packed full of old ladies <laughs> and my mom was trying to like find a nice way to say it's because men die earlier yeah. that's why there's no men here <laughs> damn so um so uh who i don't know who wrote this i i wrote this next to the, the okay. uh the i was at the uh god what the fuck I, I was i was at i was at a fucking walmart and the, the doing like the self the self checkout and shit and the this guy had a had a kid in the in the shopping cart in the the seat you know so he was like three or something yeah it was a very like really, it was really a very young. little little kid and that like there was like some stuff like thrown into the cart like in that front basket like alongside him and he, he was having <laughs> the kid hand him the stuff to do the self checkout and the the, the kid he was like the kid wouldn't let go of this one thing <laughs> and and the, he, he just like looked down at his kid and was like like god what the he, he said what did he say he, i don't no, know he, he went he went he went don't try me do don't, not try me do not try like me. he like he was like don't mess with me right now like like he, like he spoke Dude. to him not like sternly like a father he spoke to him like they were on the street like about to get into a fight <laughs> Like that was like the tone of voice that he had, dude. I do not want to know what that he guy's was holding, house is like. He was holding dude. the flashlight wrong. No, nah, like yeah. everything was totally good. Like it was like to- like he was like, oh, thanks, buddy, thanks for all your help. But do not try me right now. <laughs> he, he 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 had such a do not try me right now. I want to see like, what that guy's I, house I, is like. I would I would like if the, if the next words that came out of his mouth were do not try me, motherfucker. Like it, w- <laughs> it wouldn't have phased me one bit. Like that's just the, the, the tone he had in his voice, and it just made me laugh so fucking hard because you never see people talk to kids like that. He's totally got like a children fighting ring in his basement or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, that was just one of the kids. Okay, since you won, you get to come to the store with me yeah. now. <laughs> I got to see light. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> awful. Dude, that's that is a, terrible. Ha, the, have you seen the new Guardians yet? No, no, God damn it. no spoiler. It's Neither like did. when we were uh, when I was wor- when I was at the the cigar shop. There was um some dude like was he parked wrong. He, he double parked and I asked him to move and he told me fuck off. So I just put the tickets on his car and uh, he came back and he's taking all the tags off the car. He's holding his kid and he's just throwing them on the ground. And I go, oh, real good teaching your kid to litter. And he goes, don't te- don't tell me how to teach my fucking kids. <laughs> And the guy I was I was working with goes ah oh, cursing in front of him too. That kid's gonna grow up to be a real gentleman. <laughs> Future president of the United States over here. Yeah, I was uh, verbally in a cigar lounge <laughs> by my father. Yeah. Uh, the kid's gonna find you one day after right, he's eighteen. So, uh, I, and he's gonna ask to be adopted by you, actually. Yeah, and then they'll never find him. <laughs> I'm gonna skip over this nonsense that I wrote as I can't remember what I what I wanted to Sidekick talk about. Superpowers? Yeah, we're skipping it. All right, well the, then, how about this part? Flying or invisibility? Which one? <laughs> And why? Oh my gosh! The the, the, uh, a, the age old argument. This is this is a my father recommended idea. Uh, flying. Why? Huh? Because it's a more useful superpower that that it it it's more directly beneficial to me without negatively impacting someone else. Yeah, but if you it purely benefits me, it does it, not negatively impact anyone else. You can get shot down for flying in international airspace. <laughs> I'm not going to fly that high. I'm going to fly high enough that people don't see me and low enough that the government doesn't detect me. <laughs> the uh, invisibility, it, the. You make one flight over the Pentagon. And then, <laughs> yeah, that's all, all over. over. Now no, the cameras were shut off. The <laughs> invisibility is like inherent, like to, to get any benefit out of it, you have to be nefarious or at least mischievous. You can literally fly for free anywhere. You can go on any train for free. You can do anything you want for free. What are you talking about? That's the true. Invisible? Invisible? You can sneak on things like planes. Do you have trains? to get naked to use it or no? Whatever you're, whatever you're <laughs> wearing at the time when you turn on your invisibility, whatever, it will also turn invisible. Okay, I can also fly for free anywhere if I could fly. <laughs> yeah, but then you can't do other things for free. <laughs> like what? I can fly <laughs> over the gates into the amusement park. I can fly anywhere. You can sneak. I can fly. Yeah, but then but you, they'll see. But you. they'd see you. The, the, yeah. I, 
then I'll say I could go on. I'll say, bro, I'll say, bro, are flight. you on acid? I, I, you're telling me I just flew in here. Go to the doctor. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, still, yeah. Like, go, go tell dude, your boss that jerk off. Yeah, you go found how that goes over. One nut with a gun, you get shot for being an alien. That's all I'm saying. You don't. You materialize in someone's living room or on the middle of a plane or whatever. You just no. You never materialize. Yeah, and then he can't shoot you. Fuck that. Well, how about I fly away? How about the guy pulls out a gun and I fly away? Because your takeoff speed is two miles an hour. <laughs> what? What's the average walking speed? What is that compared to the average? I don't care. I'm, like st- I'm still going straight up. It doesn't matter. You can only up. move as fast as an El Camino. <laughs> as fast as El Camino? There's some quick El Camino. I, th- I, was gonna, I, was gonna, I thought you were going to say you can only move as fast as you can. Flying? No. Yeah, which is still faster than two miles an hour, I hope. But the you, Do you not know that you can walk faster than two <laughs> miles per well, hour? I don't know what the average walking speed is. It's like you don't know your walking four. speed? My average walking speed? No, I don't have a fucking clue. What do I got a fucking speedometer boat into me? <laughs> it's Jesus. like three or the... four miles per hour. It's like average okay. walking. Um, I, used, I remember because I remember times where Kevin Kevin's mom would pick him up from my house when we were young. Nick would, and I'd uh, run Nick down the street. <laughs> Nick would literally <laughs> run <laughs> after my mom's car. Yeah, and then she'd be like, you're running 11 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah. vivid memories of that. That's funny. Yeah. But um, I'd I probably know. do invisibility. I do some pretty heinous things being invisible. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. You could, but you can't do heinous things while flying. That's, I mean, that's exactly what I said. I said, I, I said that I, I don't want to do heinous things. I said the the I have no interest in doing a heinous thing. I, if, if, if I get a superpower tomorrow, I ain't gonna be Superman, but I'm sure as hell not gonna be a bad guy. You either. do anything that's shameful and nobody would ever see. It. Like you go <laughs> like to a what? Club. You would go jerk off in public. What, the, what, what do you want to do? What do you? <laughs> what? what do you want to do? You could so go to a bad. strip club what and nobody wanna, would ever see you. I don't. I, I can go to a strip club now and i won't get crucified it's not illegal no i understand that it's still just you know (laughs) i don't care the bouncer when he sees the door open no (laughs) one's there (laughs) this is the the footprints on the carpet (laughs) as a a science fiction enjoyer i would be obligated to take a swing at the air if i saw footprints on a carpet i (laughs) yeah I would I absolutely have to do that. Uh, I think I would choose invisibility. Fuck too. you. I think I would. <laughs> Why? I just I agree with a lot of what Kevin said. I mean, I'm not. I don't. Really, I don't know. It's just really interesting. He doesn't agree with the heinous acts things, but like <laughs> flying on planes, going on trains, going to amusement parks, going I can to fly. Do anything, I can fly. Going to I, hotels, just being able to scare the shit out of people for fun. Oh yeah. Fuck you could that. literally I could like do, it, I could do it flying. Too. You could literally be a goat. Yeah, dude. All I, I don't know, man. You're flying. It's like, not like you have super strength or anything. I didn't say I wanted to fly and push airplanes out of the sky. No, I know, I but I like still, to fly. still, like I don't know. I think okay. My final answer is it depends on how fast. Let's say. If I can fly, like this, the, the 50, speed, 50 miles per hour. 50. Uh, I mean, or, my, what, what, like my hair this? doesn't fall what, out. Whatever the, whatever the driving speed limit is in the state that you're in. With the the average, maximum driving speed limit? Posted. Right. So, but, but like, the, what? So, so when if, I'm in you're, a if you're in 25? Jersey, 65. Yeah, if you're in Pennsylvania, 75 or, okay. or 80. There's a couple 80s in PA, but. Yeah, fucking deal. I'm, st- I'm flying every day of the week, dude. Uh, I'm maybe. doing visibility. I don't know. I'm doing visibility, dude. You can just drive any car you want. You, <laughs> you can just go, go steal, steal your neighbor's car. Your car every day. What's he going to do? The cop going to pull you over and, you, and he, <clears throat> he pulls it over and realizes there's nobody in it. He goes, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. The, the, just, I. I, and then I, he sees his gun levitate out of his holster. <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't have, a, have an interest in, in committing nefarious acts. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's so fucked up. That's so fucked up. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm crying. <laughs> Jesus, you killed him. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't. I'm kind of leaning fly, but like it's a leaning. I'm not sure. Do I have to answer like a definitive yes, answer? Yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> you goddamn right. motherfucking I'm do. I'm dead set on invisibility. I'm back to... F- All right. I, I, I still would not fly anywhere in the south or near gun. You're oh, going to die, fly. Oh, yeah, yeah, but... Yeah, especially, dude, you're going through Virginia, 55 miles per hour, that's as fast as you can go. <laughs> 55, though? As long as you're, like, kind of up high, that's still good, though. Plus, you can go in a straight line to wherever you're going. That'd be... You have no traffic. Yeah. Shortest distance, that kind of stuff. Yeah. You could just hijack a plane. <laughs> 
Hijack a plane and then parachute out. Yeah. First of all, motherfucker, you can't fly a plane. Second of all, I am not interested in committing. Wayne, I bet listen. you, I Kevin bet you that I could. I bet 9/11. you that I could get a plane off the ground. I don't need it to land. <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> you you're invisible. You can't fly. What are you gonna do? Die? What are you Wayne, gonna do? No, Wayne. you gotta parachute. Bro, the, the, <laughs> wait, if they stock parachutes on a, a commercial airplane, which I'm like almost one. positive they don't, bring but you wouldn't be able to fucking find one. Who said it has to be a commercial airline? Jesus fucking Christ! Dude, I could get a, like a private jet or something. Get, so it sounds like what it really sounds like is you want to fly, but you you, you don't want to admit that I'm right. Is that that's, that's no? What it has nothing sound like uh, what, me being everything. invisible. I could get on a plane. I could hijack a plane. I could parachute Look, out of a he's plane. He's got 20 hours in Microsoft flights, and whatever you're, whatever you're wearing, pilot. whatever you're wearing, also turns invisible. That means the parachute would turn Shut invisible. Shut the fuck up, Siri. <laughs> I thought I was talking to you, Kevin. Yeah, I was like, bitch. Jeez. <laughs> Motherfucker. Now they're going to miss the chair. Go please. <laughs> that would have been a rough one. <laughs> Apple Watch in shambles. Yeah. <laughs> For the audio listeners, uh, I just threw my Apple Watch <laughs> The yeah, audio listeners. That's <laughs> all of them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I wanted to see if I would get you. No, you can't. I'm too sure. So, are you flying? Yeah, I think. Hell yeah. It's like a begrudge agreement. A begrudging to... agreement. Yeah. Okay. So, I like that I mentioned the sidekick superpowers thing. Yeah. Before we even started. And you went, now we'll think of ideas while, when we get to it. Uh, like, you already had ideas. And then we get to it and you go, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. No, I, well, oh, yeah, like, like like everyone else has defaulted to. We wrote this shit down like two weeks ago. What you know? made you think of this movie is probably what was that one movie like Super High or whatever? What? Sky High, Sky High, the high school in the sky. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even think about that. That's yeah. pretty funny though. That fucking guy, like a drill sergeant, he looks at everyone's powers. Yeah, it's uh, guy can turn into guy, Bruce guy can, Campbell. Guy can turn into a puddle of cum. Sidekick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, yeah. So fucking funny. <laughs> Oh, no. That was a good one. Dude, I forgot all about that movie, too. Uh, that was a good Doesn't one, Doesn't the man. high school fall out of the sky? Like, in the like movie? It gets lifted into the sky. Yeah, they, no, oh. it's, it's always in the sky. Yeah, it floats doesn't in the it, sky. like, start falling down? It could, I, th- I, yeah. thought, I think that that's what the bad guys wanted to do, the villains. And right. Then, and then they got stopped, obviously, because it's a mm. Nickelodeon movie. <laughs> And the, and the high school didn't cr- crush like an entire was like, it Kurt Russell the dad in that movie? Dude, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it was. We're fact checking it right now. He Jamie, was. Jamie, pull up uh, Sky High. <laughs> 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 yeah, Kurt Russell as Steve Stronghold slash the Commander. That movie came out when we were seven. Bruce Campbell was the gym teacher. Damn, dude, what a fucking iconic classic. Is it iconic? We should yes. watch that. I don't really want to watch Dude, it. I'm fuck not that. I don't want to watch it. I mean, I'll say it was iconic without having to watch it. You know what's iconic that I need to get Nick to watch? We need to get Nick to watch. Uh, Full Metal Jacket, dude. Nick's never seen Goodfellas either. I don't watch TV or movies. You people know. I mentioned it I the think- other night. I made a reference. You went, I've never seen it. Yeah. <laughs> the I, I think he'll enjoy Full Metal Jacket more. You, you've never seen it ever? No. Just seen like all the clips. I had only ever seen it. In, like, like I saw it for the first time. Like, how do you the, kill women and children? Years. What? <laughs> how do you kill women and children? <laughs> Don't lead them so much. Oh, that that's what <laughs> I'm going <Easy. laughs> to be sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just I just rewatched. Why it again is the other everyone day. sitting on their helmets? <laughs> that way, don't get your nuts blown off. <laughs> that it really is a good one. Yeah, I've never seen it. I have another. This next thing is bullshit. I'm taking. So you get ten million dollars. <clears throat> You're taking the ten you million. Ten million dollars oh, right now. Ten million dollars right now. Sick. You get ten million. Do- I, that's I haven't. My I answer. haven't. You Six, people are giving your it. answers. No Six, one knows the premise. That's yeah, fine. Just you get, keep, leave them in the dark. Keep million, going. You get ten million dollars right now, or you go back in time to age six with age six with all your current knowledge. Six. Why? What do you mean? Actually, why? I'm changing my mind. I'm changing it to six. Reason why is because I know that game or uh, GameStop stock will crash and then rise again. <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah, the real answer is you know what happens with like Bitcoin and stuff. Yeah. You know. But here you make here, way more than ten million. Here's my counter argument. At age six, like we're we're young enough now that the like we don't have like an extreme wealth of knowledge to, to build upon. Like like you can't do much at age six. You'd be you'd be age six years old pulling on your dad's pant leg. Dad, buy Bitcoin. Oh, I no, tr- no, tr- no. I'm six years old. Trust me, buy Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> the, like the, uh-huh. y- y- I feel like you you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be old enough to make a difference. And by the time you were old enough to make a difference, that's only a couple years ago. By the time we were work late high school, do you know you enough to, have made to enough make money to make a difference though? Like oh like, yeah, you, you can't. Bitcoin start- was like twenty dollars when we were in high school. Yeah, early high Maybe. school. And now it's like thirty five thousand. I mean, or it peaked to thirty five thousand or whatever. I think did it peak at thirty? I thought it peaked higher than that. Like for a very short amount of time. I'm gonna look it up. I'm going on my Coinbase app right now. <laughs> Sixty 
five thought dude yeah. like okay so it, it was for a very short amount right. of time like dude you could have turned like one of my paychecks when i worked at acme into like a <laughs> lifetime of mo- it, like unlimited money yeah that's I mean, that's all you need i guess i guess that's like uh at the same time though i i'm i'm te- not a big fan of like messing with the past like, i don't like the idea of like messing with the past you so, strict time travel rules you're gonna no betting on sporting events no <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think I would do it, but um, I've seen Hot Tub Time Machine, okay, <laughs> <laughs> and Hot Tub Time Machine Two. Wow! So I'm basically uh, basically, basically a quantum Albert physicist. Einstein <laughs> yeah. when it comes to time yeah. travel. Yeah, but what about you guys? Because for me, it's six. six. No, I I agree. I changed my mind. I don't know. T- ten million right now just sounds like nice, but like I don't like. I mean, you could change the rest of your life with him. Yeah, I don't know. You you putting that into perspective though. See, but that's the thing. Like before you told me that, like like if so, if someone prompted me with this before you told me that, I would say I don't know enough shit. <laughs> I, I, don't, right. I don't know. I don't think I'm smart enough to turn whatever's in my head now into more than ten million dollars. Right. You have a very good point though. It's like you pretty much couldn't change couldn't, much until like ten years yeah. after you, you go back to being capitalize sick. You'd on have that to information. Relive just ten years of your life, yeah. which could be good, I guess. I don't know if I'd want to do that part very much, but I think with you know the great goal in mind, I could do it. Yeah, maybe that'd be so fucking brutal, dude. Just be sick. Just go through middle, elementary school, middle school, and high school again, dude. My parents would have would have shot me, man. If I if I <laughs> if I me now went back to sleep, they'd be like, Jesus Christ, this fucking kid. What's wrong with this fucking guy? God, he's fucking smoking and drinking. And <laughs> <laughs> this guy he needs to lay off the fucking apple juice. This fucking guy. <laughs> <clears throat> My cigarettes went missing. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I got all right. So so. My truck has some problems. I had to order you two, don't two new gas tanks. Well, a new gas tank and then some parts to fix the other one. Yeah. Um. But in doing that, um. I had to cancel my tattoo appointment, so uh, that comes to the next idea that you brought, wrote down of the male equivalent of a basic bitch tattoo. And I have a great one written down for us. Did you write this down? Or did you? I, I wrote this down. I, 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 I have an answer. I know what I know. What my so like the like like a basic bitch tattoo like on a female the flower the butterfly uh, where on the body the vine anywhere it's a basic bitch tattoo. It's like the shit like that. Like that's like a if a woman has a tattoo, there is like a greater than fifty percent chance oh, yeah. that they're gonna have one of those tattoos. Yeah, totally. That's like like <clears throat> it's pretty much it. The, the butterfly and the flower. It's like it's like guaranteed. If a woman has tattoos, that will be in there somewhere. Mm-hmm. All right. So for a man, for for a man, what is the male equivalent? What you say? What tribal tattoo? Any kind of Ooh, tribal tattoo. That's pretty have, good. If you have a tribal tattoo, unless you're like one of those, unless you were like big, Hawaiian or Native yeah, unless American, unless you're one of those yeah. big yeah. motherfuckers from Hawaii that have like the, <laughs> the chin tattoo or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like the Samoans or whatever. I don't um, know. I don't know. Or about Hawaii. I'm gonna attack somebody right now. Oh, oh, you're dude, gonna say what I'm gonna you're say. You're gonna steal mine. Yeah, I think we all the same. <laughs> is if you have an American yeah, flag yeah. with the skin ripping away <laughs> and the American flags underneath, that is a basic bitch white guy tattoo. <laughs> That's, Walter, I'm sorry, you're not here to defend yourself, but I was just gonna say American flag. I think that specifically that one, but that you mean, yeah. is is a rough one. Like, yeah. the, like I gotta say, when but Walter, I don't think. I mean, at least I haven't seen a ton of people with that. I've seen a ton of people. Okay, with yeah. I, the, I, when, when Walter got it. I'd never seen someone with it, and I was like, "Damn, that's fucking cool. That's fucking badass." Like, like I, another one of Walt's friends has it. Oh, yeah. Like it looks, it looks cool at all, but like it's just like oversaturated. It's just it, like well, not, like, not only that, it's like have it. Like he's he worked in the sun for a little while, and he like didn't take the best care of it, so it's like kind yeah. of faded to the color of his skin now. Nick, you have to take care of your tattoos. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you're aware, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, but yeah, if you have your skin is being ripped away and there's a flag of some sort underneath, then you're that's basic bitch. My yeah, granddad has his name tattooed. This is why, Tony. so he doesn't forget because he's, he's a man. <laughs> so he forget. It's just on his left arm. It says Tony. Are you sure it's his name and not your dad's name? It's his damn. He got it in the army. <laughs> Interesting. Why did he lose a bet? I got, maybe I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. I should ask him that. I that's, don't know. Dude, that's what I'm going to do as soon as I get diagnosed with Alzheimer's. I'm going to get my name <laughs> tattooed on my arm. We get all pertinent information. My, like, my, you my, should get a tattoo on your get one chest. Of I'm going to get like, <laughs> like a, a instruction manual for how to breathe tattooed on my arm. How to chew and swallow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get like 
get a tattoo on your chest. It just says it's, a name, it's a name tag. It says hello. My name is Wayne. <laughs> no, but it's not for other people. It's for me when I have dementia. Well, be, you feel, it'll be for you too. I'll be able to look dementia. down. I have to be able to read it because then you can talk to your mirror friend and you'll know his name. I can't read it in the mirror. I had to get it tattooed in, in reverse. reverse. Yeah, yeah backwards. That, that way when you I want to get mirror. an instruction manual. Like phone is in your right pocket. Wallet's in your left pocket. I mean, Nick. Yeah. Nick force pulls the beard yeah. towards him. Doesn't say wow. anything. <laughs> You know what I meant. You knew what I meant. <laughs> I'm moving my stuff. But yeah. Oh, any, yeah. Other, any other ones? Like, Dude, that's all I came up with. That's tribal all I tattoo. Got. American flag. American flag. The, skin yeah. ripping away. Like, Needsy's American flag tattoo. Dude, Needsy didn't join. I was going to heckle him into <sighs> getting that shit removed or covered up. That That's why he, he got, joined he, the Marines. He got he, that military got, tattoo like three years prior to jo- actually joining the military. <laughs> yeah, he got like the backwards flag put on his arm. Yeah. At least he followed through. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, good for him. True. Shout Hopefully out to he doesn't do it again. Hopefully he follows through this time with yeah. not re enlisting. Not re enlisting. Yeah. <laughs> Our good buddy, Tyler. The yeah. Marine. Yeah. Gotta have him on the podcast. That'd be a good He's one. He's coming home either. I think July. 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 Yeah. yeah. Yep. No, a big hoot. He has a way yeah. of <laughs> he has a way of coming home near my birthday. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. Probably not. Probably he's going to propose to you soon. Yeah. He is. Hey, man, <laughs> you, you got to put a ring on her. It's going to walk away. <laughs> <coughs> um. So uh. So uh, speaking of uh, Needsy, <laughs> uh, we're planning on taking a, some kind of trip down there at some point in the future. Potentially. Yeah, something like that. Did you ever hear back at all? Or? Um, he, he said he'll hit me back when he gets that, like, secures that weekend off. Oh, which one? But the one. The one that we all agreed on. Okay. But long right. story short, like, we're going to, like, go with his dad down to North Carolina where he's stationed just to give him his car. His two cars. cars uh, two, two cars. cars yeah. Yeah. And then on the cars. way back, we're driving in a van. Needs, with needs, the, needs his dad's bean bean van from, like, the the early 90s late 80s or something like that <laughs> and it has no back seats yeah so Needsy's dad is planning on just plant, putting like ping pong chairs back there or that's something? what he said to me that he, like, he, am, he I just, am I just gonna bring a uh, like a just bring one of those like camping those, chair, those the folding chair. chairs yeah. and then weld it to the fucking <laughs> yeah. the floor the one thing. right turn your whole chair falls over <laughs> oh and slam God. into a middle wall we should uh. just put a fucking you know, like a white folding table like a picnic table in the middle <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. You play cards and stuff on the highway. <laughs> yeah, but um, speaking of driving and you know people not knowing how to use their blinkers, I know you have a very you you love it when people don't use their blinkers. Yeah, it's like the only thing I've put a Snapchat story of twice in my life. <laughs> what calling out strangers on the road? Yeah, I I mean I I really don't have road rage like at all, but. There's been a couple instances of just that I don't bothers me so bad. Like people to slam their brakes and take an immediate left turn. And like, look, I know I could have a, a newer car that brakes a lot harder, but I don't want to. <laughs> and I shouldn't have to slam my brakes if somebody wants to be a fucking ass. But uh, I, the day that you texted me to bring you food, yeah, that morning I was on my way to work, and the guy I was driving on the highway, and I got onto that big road that my work is on. Yeah, um, and I like turned on my blinker as i was merging to another lane and then mm-hmm. when the middle lane was underneath my truck i turned off yeah which i think is, is, is a reasonable thing to do no that's that's reasonable and then a dude pulled up next to me when i was in traffic and rolled down his window and was yelling at me saying that you don't know how to use your fucking blinker and said that you have to keep your blinker on the whole fucking time you have to turn it on 75 feet prior to doing any kind of turn or merging <laughs> And uh, I just kept staring straight forward, and it was moments like this. I wish I had my PA system. I wish I, like, I, wish I had I, my gun. I, then I, I saw him a lot further up, and he turned on his blinker and then proceeded to merge into another car. <laughs> <laughs> Man. And I wish I had, because when they pulled off the side of the road, I wish I had my PA system just so I could have said, is that how you're supposed to use your blinker? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole point of driving is to be predictable. Like, if you go buy the book, a good driver is the most predictable one. Yeah. And if you're just not, not using Play, not when I play Freebird. Yeah, I mean, when, when your Freebird comes on and the windows are open and no the cops laws. are chasing yeah, you, and you're going don't let 100. them know your next move. Yeah, man. <laughs> When, when, when you see that that tow truck with the ramp and the the, intru- the intrusive Dukes of Hazard thoughts start coming into your head. Yeah, stunt jump failed. <laughs> and then you say to yourself, there's no way I can mess it up. Yeah. There's no way. This is I, easy. I, either I live and it's a win or I die. And it's not and my it's problem. <laughs> yeah, it's not my problem. <laughs> um, what is NJTP? The New Jersey Transportation Police. I, had I didn't even I, know that was a thing. I figured. I didn't know. I don't it, know if you knew what it was. No, I and I was just going to say, do you know if they can pull me over? <laughs> What? You wrote it in the idea thing. You I know. wrote that. I know. 
What? So you just wanted to ask me that question? You just know more about law enforcement than I do. I don't know if do they, they drive... exist. They exist. They do exist. Because okay, I, cool. I saw one when I was taking him to get his <laughs> taking his food. To that him. wasn't an eventful drive for you, huh? <clears throat> oh yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So we've established that the New Jersey Transit Police exists. <laughs> yeah, they yeah, are very cool. organization that exists. I'm, gl- so. I'm glad we've we've talked about that. Uh, what's the Home Depot bitch? Did uh, you write that or did Walter write that? I don't, think I don't I know. That. Okay, I don't like talking about uh, the <clears throat> now the, I gotta the, go the into stupid a... jump story or the Pawn Stars. Well, that's that's all of it. So, yeah, we got an hour on the books oh, over yeah, here. Yeah, 50, we got fifty four yeah, minutes. Pretty solid. You don't feel like solid. talking it's about the good. jump the jump story? Uh, I mean, I don't care. we can. I just don't feel like talking. Like I don't. I'm not telling it. I just don't feel like telling it. Yeah, it's because like, I want to protect my identity. It's just I don't feel like saying the words. Yeah, what's just that's leave fair. It. <laughs> leave it. <laughs> I'll just cut this part out. What is drunk bitches are stupid? <laughs> <laughs> There's the episode name. No, it's not. It's <laughs> drunk bitches are stupid. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. It'd be like an episode name that just never gets elaborated on. <laughs> yeah, what whatever. What was the other thing on there that you said? That's Home it? Depot, bitch. Oh, episode of Porn Stars. Yeah, I can't do that one. No. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, so I, I think that wraps us up. Yeah, so I think that's... Oh, no, uh, I did write Home Depot, bitch. <laughs> so what the fuck are you talking? talking about I don't wasn't that long it was only like Jesus that was only two Christ. days ago you were like two days ago and you don't know what it means oh now I remember <laughs> um so I, I picked up the stuff to smoke that uh that pork butt mm-hmm. and I was you know loading everything into my car and then I just kind of pushed my cart out into the middle of the parking lot asshole <laughs> you're a scumbag and some bitch was like you're not gonna bring that back up to the building and I said no why the fuck would I like I pointed over at one of the dudes that's collecting cards. I said, "That's his fucking job. I'm not gonna take <laughs> you." I, wait, 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 wait. You I are said, gonna go I to said, hell I said, when you die. I said, "I'm not gonna take away this guy's fucking job." <laughs> you don't give a fucking <laughs> shit about that guy's fucking job, <laughs> dude. Fucking Have you ever seen the, dude, the, the Home the, Depot was packed that oh day? I'm God. not walking all the Fuck way back you. to the building. I was put it in a cart carousel. They don't. They don't have any at the end. The ones all the way at the end. I mean, still, dude. You don't just leave it there. It's <sighs> fucked up. Hey, man. The, it, that guy gets paid for a reason. New episode name. Kevin is an asshole. Have, have, no. Do you, do you, that is not the name. <laughs> have you Have you heard the about the shopping cart litmus test? Have you heard this? The shopping this cart what? Litmus test. Oh, I thought you ligma had like a stroke. Test. No. Ligma yeah, test. Ligma. The shopping cart <laughs> litmus. It's kind of like a Butch giant. Ligma. <laughs> it's kind of a giant shit post, but it's like. Ligma testicle. <laughs> bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> It's it's it states that I'm gonna read it. The the shopping cart is the ultimate litmus test for whether a person is capable of self governing. To return the shopping cart is easy. It's it's we all recognize it's the right thing to do. There's no situation other than a dire emergency where you cannot return your cart. However, it's not illegal. Uh, it's and it's really not like a, a huge deal. Right. And that's the thing. It's if if you leave it, if you just leave it there, it's you're incapable of self governance. You you need to be you need to be watched. Institutionalized. No, it it says no one will punish you for for returning the shopping cart. No one will fine you or kill you for not returning it. You gain nothing from returning it. You have to do it from the goodness of your own heart. You have to do it because it's the right thing to do. If you cannot do this, you're an animal, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! The shopping cart is what determines whether a person is good or bad for society. <laughs> the invisibility is starting to make sense, Kevin. Yeah, <laughs> that shopping cart would be invisible until your hands leave it. And th- this <laughs> is like you push it into somebody. <laughs> no Dude, idea what's th- happening. This is this is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get the Dude, scumbag. I'd be tripping people all the time. <laughs> I'm gonna get the scumbag <laughs> cannon pointed at me now, dude. <laughs> I was pulling into a, a Sam's Club Scumbag. one time, <laughs> and I whipped Just into a park. cheese at Walmart. Did I tell Ooh. this? Did I tell? This? I don't forget if I see if I said this on the podcast. Whatever. I I pulled into a parking spot and I and I, I didn't. I whipped into a parking spot in my truck and I hit a shopping cart. <laughs> I hit like the the nose. I think you say you hit another no. car, dude. The, the, uh. We're getting there. The, the the nose of my truck hit oh. the nose of this shopping cart, and then and it whipped it around <laughs> and sent it sailing into someone else's car. Boom! Right into someone else's car. But it was it was a, a, a woman in. Oh, that makes it okay. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's it. It was a woman. Fuck her. No, it was the, <laughs> it was a woman in a, in a jacked up SUV. So boom! The shopping cart hits her car. How hard did you hit the shopping cart? Dude, how fast were you driving when you pulled into it? Too fast, but the <laughs> and too hard. The it so it whips around, goes across the, the next row of parking, boom, hits this lady's car. 
obviously when anything hits her car, especially a fucking Sam's Club shopping cart, which is bigger than a regular shopping yeah. cart, she like pops up in her seat. Oh, she was in it? She, she was, was in, in the, the car? She was oh in the car. Oh my gosh. And she's like, no. her, her SUV was so jacked up, she couldn't see, and she, was, she was so small, she couldn't see over the hood the giant shopping cart sitting in front of her car that just impacted the front of her <laughs> of her SUV. And so like, she just looked around for a while. Meanwhile, my heart is beating very fast. I don't want to have to pay for this yeah. quick, like paint job on this car. <laughs> And she's just looking around. She has like no fucking idea what just happened. She's just looking around and looking and looking like all over the place. She's looking like for people and shit, like someone who would have like hit the car or something. And then she just goes back to looking at her phone. <laughs> oh my God. I promptly threw it in reverse and parked somewhere else, dude, <laughs> because I, I'm not being held responsible for that. That's I think that's up. I think that's more scumbaggy than no it totally is. Call. However, yeah, it is this was a one time, however this was a one time occurrence. To be fair, that's the only time I've ever told some lady to fuck off because of the the cart. Well, I didn't tell this lady to fuck off. No, I just no, fucked up me, her paint. Me with the the shopping cart. I'm not saying you're a scumbag for telling her to fuck off. I would tell her to fuck off no, too. No, I know. But the <laughs> so you would do it. You're smiling and you're squinting. <laughs> you I, would. Do I it. would tell someone to fuck off if every time I see you leave a shopping cart, it's not a thing. Now I'm gonna crucify you for it. No. I've, I think no. I've seen you do it once is put it away. I put it away, man. I put well, first of all, usually I don't fucking use shopping carts, but the but uh so it's just not an issue for you. You go me. big shopping, you don't use a shopping cart. I don't go big shopping. Who the Never. fuck am I shopping? Go big shopping. <laughs> I go I go to the store on Monday, I buy food to cook five dinners and then I I, I it all fits in one bag. I don't he use a shopping cart. He made me go to the grocery store. It's true, store I brought with Nick to the grocery yesterday. store with me. <laughs> Jesus. It, I didn't like it. We're getting I felt married. like a well, like child. Anything. Home Depot or something like that. Uh dude, what if I bumped into someone at the store? that you didn't know we talked <laughs> talk to <him. laughs> what we for 20 minutes uh, like, when you, like when your mom takes you to the store and you get trapped because she's talking oh, to someone yeah. for too long yeah <laughs> yeah that would have been awful yeah that would have been pretty I funny I would have walked home no but I don't have a problem with you telling that bitch to stick it you know I have a problem with you just whoop it's not my problem anymore <laughs> just pushing it off into I, the middle of the see parking that poor lot poor guy I don't want to take his job I, <laughs> yeah. I pushed it towards the building <laughs> you're a scumbag for that I pushed it towards the most expensive car. They in the get lot. paid to do that. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I guess I used to work in the custodian business, so uh, I have I have no. All right, so business. if a kid shits on the ground, is that your problem? I mean, that's extreme, yes. but I, I know it is your problem. It's your but problem, but the, would you want a kid to poop in the toilet? Yes, right. They want you to put the carts back, but technically, you don't have to. Technically, a kid could shit on the floor. <laughs> You're right. Yes. Okay. So you wouldn't want to wring out that kid's neck if he shit on the floor and you had to clean it up, huh? You wouldn't be upset with someone for shitting on the floor and making you clean it up. I wouldn't want to kill a kid or anything, no. You wouldn't be upset about it, though? You would be like, oh, boy, I can't wait to scoop up shit off the floor. No, I'd refuse to clean it. <laughs> you're a bad <laughs> member of society. If, if it's your job to clean and oh you say, God. I refuse to clean, you're not good. Oh That's why there's other janitors. Bro, <laughs> oh, the, sir, you're being hired to clean. We need you to clean. That ain't my job. <laughs> no, I'll clean. I mean, I ain't cleaning shit. There's bro. no nowhere in the job listing that it say possibly has to clean up fecal matter. Bro, Dude. cleaning is cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> if you're if you are signed up to clean a place that has shitters, shit is part of the job. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <sighs> so everybody, thank you for listening. <laughs> Made it to the hour, uh, three subscribe, hour mark. follow, favorite, wherever you listen. We're on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Overcast. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, at Uncut Takes. Interact with some of the tweets. There haven't been many because there haven't been many podcasts, but when, when there are, yeah. interact with them. Like the photos. There haven't been many photos because there haven't been many podcasts, <laughs> but when there are, like the photos. Thanks again for listening and stay uncut.